Let's start with the obvious. Asthma is going to be one of the most frequent conditions you'll see in your career. After all, over 300 million people in the world suffer from it. So we should probably talk about what asthma is and how to manage your patients with chronic asthma. Since we're focusing on the clinical presentation and management of asthma here in Sketchy IM, we're going to skip past definitions in pathophysiology and head straight into a snow day at Alvin's house. If you need an in-depth review of the pathophys of asthma, check out our asthma and bronchiectasis sketchy path sketch. And see the third sketch in our Sketchy IM series on asthma for the presentation and management of acute asthma exacerbations. Asthma is an airway disease defined by a triad of processes, airway inflammation, airway hyperresponsiveness, and reversible airflow obstruction. Here at Sketchy, our recurring symbol for reversible airflow obstruction is the pink reversed hat. I don't know what you did, Alvin, but mom is getting hyper angry at your choice of haberdashery. The classic set of symptoms in asthma includes cough, dyspnea, and wheezing, represented by the loud party blower being used by that snowman creeper. Asthma-related cough is usually worse at night and may, in fact, be the only presenting symptom. Make sure to think about asthma in patients with chronic cough, especially when it's nocturnal, seasonal, or related to a specific trigger. One key historical feature to ask for are triggers, which are substances or activities that trigger a patient's asthma symptoms. Triggers are such an important piece of history to obtain that we've drawn the snowball launcher with a huge trigger to remind you to ask about them. The most common asthma triggers include respiratory infections, exercise, allergens, such as pollen, dust, or pet dander, environmental irritants, like cold air or cigarette smoke, and medications. Two medications in particular are especially worth asking your patient about. Aspirin and beta blockers. Aspirin can trigger bronchoconstriction in asthmatics via leukotriene dysregulation. As a COX inhibitor, aspirin causes increased formation of leukotrienes, a substance implicated in the pathogenesis of bronchospasm. At Sketchy, our recurring symbol for aspirin is the ASA umpire chest protector, this time donned by our snowball launcher toting kid. He sure came prepared. Another medication trigger to ask about are beta blockers, which can cause bronchoconstriction by blocking beta-2 mediated bronchial smooth muscle relaxation. Makes sense, since we use beta agonists to treat asthma. But we'll save that for our next sketch dedicated to asthma management. For now, let the snowman head blocking the bell of that beta-2 tuba remind you that beta blockers can trigger asthma.